What is going on guys in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to defeat Argus which is the brand new boss of the Raid Lair. It's actually going to be a two phase part because one part you're going to need to bring down his shield. After his shield is brought down then you will go ahead and encounter Argus. So let's go ahead and start off with the first part which is bringing down his shield. What you're going to do is divide yourselves in groups of two. So two people one side, two people another side, two people on another side. So basically you're going to have to designate each everybody by element. So you're going to, want to have two people go to the solar triangle, two people go to the void triangle, and two people go to the arc triangle. As you see here on the screen, I pinpointed with each triangle which has its own corresponding elements. Now on the side of these triangles, there's going to be a set of platforms that are ro floating rocks. And these floating rocks are going to have little skulls that you're able to pick up. Make sure you send one person to go grab that and he's going to go ahead and pick up that skull and bring that skull back to the triangle depending on what element he's on. So remember you guys are divided into two. So have that person pick up the skull, drop that, uh, drop that skull inside of one of the triangles which has the flames. Once you drop the skull, the skull will begin to become infused. Then either you or the same person could go ahead and pick up the other skull because there's a set of two skulls every time that spawn for each individual triangle. Once you have all set of skulls ready to go, which is a total of six skulls, then you are going to notice that he is going to start spawning ads, you know, clear out the ads. Best way to do actually do this is for each individual section, since you're divided in two, have one person in charge of ads and have the other person just in charge of the crystal. Now you're going to notice that the big diamond that's in front of you is going to have crystals that are going to be spawning. Now these crystals are going to be color coordinated depending on the element. There's going to be either a purple one, a blue one, or a orange one. So based on wherever the crystal is at, that is what you're going to have to go ahead and shoot him with. So for example, if you notice right here, I am on the void side, but there is a orange crystal. So that means that the person who has the orange element or the solar element has to come with his charged skull to come and shoot that crystal to bring it down. So you're going to have to be constantly communicating, hey, uh, you know, orange is on void or void is on orange or void is on, on arc. So depending on which way you go, and basically it's just a matter of rinse and repeat, just shooting out the crystals which are in the corresponding spawn, charging the skulls, and once you do all that, you will then bring down his shield, and now you're able to fight Argus. Alright, so now it's time to take down Argus. So Argus is actually a very interesting mechanic. It's a little bit similar to what we just did prior to this, just with a different set of mechanics. So basically what we're going to do, once again, divide into twos, have everybody designated into a specific, you know, triangle, either void, solar, or arc. Now the thing, or interesting thing about here is that once once you pick up the, the skull, the skull on each individual side, you're going to notice some circular balls or some circular spheres that are going to spawn in the map with a corresponding element. Some are going to be solar, some are going to be arc, some are going to be void. Depending on what they are, you're definitely going to want to call it out and let your teammates know there's three arc, and there's two solar, and one arc, there's one void. Depending on what it is, you're going to want to make sure you make a call out. Now, in order for you to get this coordinated correctly, you're going to want to know which side you're going to have to go on. So in order for you to know which side you're going to go on, it's going to be where there's going to be a circle that's going to allow you to join those three different sets of balls and kind of infuse them into kind of even just to bring his shield down. So depending on which side that is on, it's either going to be either one of the triangles, void, solar, or arc. You're going to want to make sure you call out, hey, it's on void side, so everybody knows exactly where to go to DPS. So for a quick example, there is two arc and there is one solar. So basically what you're going to do is the two people who charge their skulls on the arc side are going to go ahead, pick up the arc and charge skull and make their way to the solar side so they can shoot the balls. Once they shoot the balls, there's going to be the, uh, two people shooting arc, one people shooting solar. These balls are going to go ahead and come together and go with inside that hole. Once they're inside the hole, his shield is going to drop down and then you're going to be able to DPS him. The best strategy here is to use your golden guns, to use empowering riffs, to have someone in charge of uh, clearing out ads and just do as much damage as you possibly can, uh, you know, just to do as much DPS. The only thing I want to warn you guys is make sure you watch out for the ads that are spawning. He will also shoot some sort of triangles that will go ahead and cage you in. And the only way you're able to get out of these, you won't be able to shoot out of them. You, actually, your teammates have to shoot you out of it. So if you get trapped, make sure you make a call out that you're trapped so your teammates can shoot you out of that triangle. Once you DPS them enough, then it's again rinse and repeat. You're going to go to your platform, make sure you charge up the skulls. Once the skulls are charged, you're going to notice that his shield will down and you're going to notice that a set of platforms spawn. Now, in order for you to damage him, you're just going to have a set of crit spots. So you're going to want to work your way down from his head, 
shoulders, and arms. So make sure you jump to the highest platform. And he is going to have two crit spots on his head, one on the left side, one on the right side. So my best suggestion would either divide yourself into threes, divide yourself into four, two, or three, three, and everybody shoot the corresponding crit spot. Once you shoot the corresponding crit spot, you can actually either get a charged skull to go up there, you can use some rockets, and cold heart are actually the best ones to use, you know, to damage him. Once you go ahead and shoot that, you will notice that he will go into a stun phase if you destroy both different crit spots. And then it's a matter of rinse and repeat back with the crystals and getting all the different orbs together and DPSing him again and then bringing down his shield again and then going ahead and shooting his back. Once you do that, you will then go ahead, rinse and repeat once again. Make sure you join the two balls together, the three balls together, shoot the little hole, and his shield goes down, shoot him. And then it's a matter of shooting his arms. Now his arms are going to be on the left hand side and the right hand side. After you destroy his arms, you will then have one more phase to actually DPS him. And this will be the final phase because if you don't kill him after that fourth phase, it's pretty much a wipe. So you only have four chances to DPS him. So once his arms are down, make sure you get the balls all racked centered in the middle. And then just DPS him as much as you can. Shoot everything you got and down will go Argus. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, do me the huge favor of dropping a like. Please, guys, please share this with your friends because it does help me out a lot. And don't forget, guys, if you want to stay up to date to all things Destiny, make sure you keep it locked in this channel. And I will catch you guys on the next video.